Adam Bates with the Ohio Department of Transportation, and in this video I'll be going through some of the preferences you'll need to have set before digitally signing plans within Adobe Reader. So first you're going to want to open up Adobe Reader. Next, once the software is open, you're going to go to Edit and go to Preferences. And as you can see here, underneath the Preferences dialog, we have a few different categories. The first category that we're going to be modifying is the commenting. Under the viewing comments, you want to change the font to Calibri. And then now let's navigate to Identity. And you're going to want to put your organizational information within this section here. Next, let's go down to Security Enhanced. You're going to want to toggle on Automatically Trust Documents with Valid Certification. This is located underneath the Privileged Locations here. Next, let's go to the Signatures category. And you'll notice we have a few options under here underneath the digital signatures. The first one we're going to be modifying is Identities and Trusted Certificates. Let's click on the More. And you'll see here we have a few different digital IDs. Now these digital IDs will be associated to your digital signature. And as you can see here, we have the ODOT root as an issuer. Now all ODOT users will have this ODOT root. Now to set this as your default digital ID for your digital signature, you're going to highlight that and go to Usage Options and select Use for Signing. Now as an external user, you may have your own organizational issuer for a digital ID, but if you don't, you can go to Add ID. Next, let's go to Verification. So we're going to toggle on and off a few options within this dialog here. Now the first one we're going to do is the verification behavior. As you can see here, we have required certificate revocation checking here. We're going to uncheck that. Now let's go down to Windows integration. We're going to check both of these options on. Now let's go to creation and appearance. You'll want to, in the creation section here, we're going to uncheck include revocation status here. And then we'll go down to appearance and create a new appearance. And for the title, let's put your name here. Next, let's go to configure graphic, and we're going to select the import graphic. Then we're going to browse to the location of where you saved your e-signature from the videos that we have provided within this series of videos. So if you haven't done that, I suggest going to do that first. But if you have, let's go to the browse and we'll navigate to that location where you saved it. You'll also notice within this location, we only have a signature.pdf. This is the case because Adobe Reader cannot support an image of a signature. It can only support a PDF format. So let's go ahead and select that. And you'll be prompted with a sample of that signature. Go ahead and select that. And also, you'll want to go to the Configure Text section here. And you only want to show the name, date, logo, and labels being shown here on the screen. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now you have an appearance saved here. So now that you've created an appearance, let's go ahead and open up a title sheet. So within this title sheet, you can see that we have a few digital signature fields. Now to activate these to sign them, you're going to left click and you'll be prompted with sign document dialog. So you'll see here as a sign as that is going to be your digital ID that we just set as the default signer. And by default, the appearance should show up as just text. What you're going to want to do is select the appropriate image of your signature. And then click Sign, and then you'll get prompted to save the file. It's always a good practice to save this as another version. So if you need to go back to the original, you can. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, now we have a digital signature. We can also view this signature by clicking on the signature panel here. 
and you can check the status of that signature and the document. If you have any questions or concerns on what we've just covered within this video, feel free to reach out to us at the CADN Mapping Services Group via service request here. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can.